Death, they say, is inevitable, but what is most important is how well you lived while on earth. For Dame Esther Jamine Rewane has her set to be a life of impact and selfless service to God and humanity. On the show today, we celebrate the life and legacy of Dame Esther Rewane. <music> With a total submission to God's will, the Rewane family of Wari in Delta State, South South Nigeria, celebrated the life of their mother, grandmother and great-grandmother, Dame Esther Gemine Rewane. Dame Rewane took her last breath on the 20th of February 2019 having spent 97 impactful years on earth. Those years she touched lives in her own way, raised children who on this day honored her in a way truly deserving. A three-day event was put together to celebrate her, beginning with the service of songs right here in Lagos. Amongst her well-accomplished children is renowned economist and CEO of financial derivatives, Mr. Bismarck Rewane, and together with his siblings, they are fulfilled knowing that their mother's 97 years on earth has been one with remarkable achievements serving God and humanity. She was a very active member of the Church of Resurrection 1004 estate, where she worshipped for the better part of her life. She was just not a bench warmer in the church. She was in the Guild of Stewards. She was elected to be a synod representative. That is the highest making body of the church for a diocese. Both when it was Benin diocese and when it became to be uh, 
uh, Wadi Daosis. She was a member of the Mothers' Union, a member of the Women's Guild, and a member of the Elders' Fellowship. Also hugely acknowledged is her connection to her Ishakiri roots, an indigenous of Okerain, Wari, Southwest local government area of Delta State. Traditional chiefs all the way from Wari Kingdom came to join her children to mourn their dearly departed. Her life was enviable. To my recollection, everyone in her language community and all who knew her deferred to this icon of a woman. My memory of her remains fresh because my visits were always happy moments full of laughter. I wish I didn't have to say goodbye to my one and only big sissy. And I know he her impact was not only felt by her family members alone, but also those who were opportune to come in contact with her. She was a confidant to so many people because there she was. Always radiant, always there to give you that beautiful smile which gladdened your heart. Mama, we wish you well. Your space, your slot in the Church of Resurrection, we still look at it when we go into church. You raise me up so I can stand on mountain. You raise me up to walk on stormy sea. Was something that she and my grandfather instilled, I believe in me and Doye particularly, was self-confidence. So that wherever you go, anywhere in the world, you know who you are, you know what you're capable of doing, and you know nobody can bring you down, no matter what they say. Dame Esther Gemini Riwane attended Queen's College Yaba, Lagos and St. Monica's College Ogbunike in Imo State. She later studied dressmaking and design at the City and Girls in the United Kingdom. On arrival to Nigeria, she ventured into different businesses, recording huge successes, while also giving her late husband, Mr. Ogbemi Riwane, the moral support when he co-founded Hussey College Wari with his brother, Mr. Alfred Rewani, and Chief Elliot Andrew Bego. Some of the old students of the school were also there to pay their last respects. That we may need to enjoy the world of the college we the children always pray for. Think that anything which is good may come from you. May come from you. We the children always pray for. Think that anything which is good may come from you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Once again, I thank everybody for being here today. Our children are, many of our children are here today. Not biological children, but our children, including biological children. And she would ask me, where's your friend, Sonny? Where's this? Where's that? Where's that? And I said, okay, they're all around. You know, so, okay, fine. So, be optimistic, always believe in God, and always believe that what is yours will always be yours when your time comes.
symptom of a woman. Religious, hard working, uh, as self esteem. She believes in hard work. Whatever you want to achieve in life, you can achieve it. So far, I sat on it and you are hard working. Incurable optimist. Believes that what is yours is, will always be yours. And you don't have to hustle, you don't have to struggle. It, you know, you work hard. Christian values. And what's going to come your way is going to come your way, no matter what happens. She was a businesswoman, she was a church leader, she was a community leader. She was a mentor who lived by example. She was very transparent. What you saw was what you got. The solemn moment gave way for a brief reception. Nigerian artists Simi and BJ Sykes were in the building to light it up. when you think about a strong personality who was strong-willed above anything else. Um, that was what my grandmother embodied. My memory of her is somebody who always looks happy and she always, when you're happy, you, you have love to, to give. So she was constantly, it was always lovely to be around her. The celebration of life for Dame Esther Gemini Rwane continued in her hometown in Wari at the Cathedral Church of St. Andrew. Friends and members of her community joined her children for a special service of songs to pray for the repose of the soul of their mother. To relate with him personally, the Lord we grant unto you in the name of Jesus. We pray that after this burial, the Lord God will uphold you in the name of Jesus. She was a woman loved by many, and she impacted her world in her own little way. Uh, today she's gone. Um, uh, my, my mom it feels sad that uh, she's left alone now, but uh, we thank God that uh, uh, her soul is resting in perfect peace. The day for the funeral service came, and they gathered again at the same church, this time for the final farewell.
we need to be reminded of this second coming of the Lord Jesus. Existence without Christ is death. So conversion to Christ is to be death. You must be born again. A life well lived indeed, and as the service came to an end, the journey to a place of rest started. Elder statesman Mr. Ayo Adibanjo and the governor of Edo State, Mr. Godwin Obaseki, were some of the dignitaries who joined them in worry. The family of Rwani will be worry and danger and Nigeria for whatever we have achieved. It is their selfless service that has made it possible. She was a community leader. She was an educationist. She was someone who exhibited the true values of family and motherhood. Later, there was a great reception for invited guests. She radiated a lot of love around everybody that came across her, you know, so to me, you know, she'll be so, really, really solid miss, that I can say. She's just an incredible woman, and she loved me, she loved my wife, she loved my children, and she was just a mother. The reception registered more personalities, and a Shakiri dance troupe was sure to entertain everyone. They mourned, but they however looked on the brighter side as the mother lived a long and fulfilled life and they sure danced to that. And the rain is dead, and the moon is still on me that to see. Though I won't be afraid, I won't be afraid, just as long. Activities lined up for the burial of Dame Esther Gemini Rewani was rounded up with this reception. While they prayed for her soul to rest in the Lord's bosom, her children are however glad that they have given their mother, grandmother and grace grandmother Dame Esther Gemini Rewani the funeral she truly deserves. Well, a life of impact indeed. Our condolences to the Rwani and our Wani family. Yes. May her soul rest in peace. We'll say amen to that. Yeah. All right, this is our stop for today. I hope you enjoyed every bit of it. Remember to continue this. Go online, go to channelstv.com, click on playlist, and you will enjoy different editions of Metrofile. Our Twitter handles are right on your screen, so if you want to hear from us. We would like to hear from you too. Yeah. So please tweet at us. You'll find the Twitter handles there and also the number blinking there. Call to find out details about Metrofile. We definitely will see you again very soon. 
I'm Anne Wawode. And I'm Oge Chikuwasi. Also remember to catch the rerun of this program on Saturday at 12 noon. A fresh edition comes up on Sunday at 9.30 a.m. And that, of course, repeats on Wednesday at 11 p.m. Please do watch out for it. Thank you once again for watching. And do have a blessed weekend. Okay.